Hi everyone and welcome to tutorial zero of our introduction to our basics tutorial series. Again, this is tutorial zero that will teach you how to download and install R in R Studio, um, as well as introduce you to these two concepts. If you're already familiar with R in R Studio, as well as have these two set up on your device, then feel free to skip this tutorial and go straight to tutorial one. And again, it is crucial that you complete this tutorial and finish setting up r, &R Studio before the next tutorial. Accompanying this tutorial, as well as all following tutorials, are short Google quizzes. So these are hyperlinks that you can click onto for your own self-assessment. And the instructions of this tutorial and all the other tutorials as well will clearly indicate when you should answer which question. And here are the learning objectives for this tutorial. But basically, we are going to learn how to install and download R and R Studio, as well as familiarize ourselves with these two concepts. So first of all, what is R? R is a programming language, and it's also an environment for statistical computing and graphics. It is commonly used in both academia and industry. And it is a free and open source, so it's great for us students. It's easy to learn and use, and it's also compatible with many systems. So it can be used on Windows, on Mac OS, and Linux. For more information about R, you can click on this website right here. So this is your first question of the quiz. Feel free to pause this video now and complete that question and then come back. All right, so second of all, what is R Studio? Different from R, which again is a programming language, RStudio is not a language. It is an IDE or an integrated development environment for R. There are two ways that you can use RStudio. So the offline version or the desktop version is RStudio Desktop and the online version is RStudio Cloud. And we will be using RStudio Desktop in this tutorial and all the following tutorials but this is also the link to the RStudio Cloud in case you need it. So when you click on the link, this is what you should see. And you can sign up for an account. And then every time that you need to use R, you can just log in. All right. And there are also lots of other available IDEs for R. But the reason why we chose RStudio is because it has a lot of features that makes working with R much easier and more efficient. And it's also very clean and easy for the eyes as well. So this is the second question of the quiz. You can pause this video and answer that question now. Next, we are going to install um, and download R together. So this is the link that you should click on. When you click on it, this is what you should see. And feel free to explore the site if you want. Um, but this is the important part. So when you're here, click on download R. And then here, you will be uh, directed to a list of CRAN mirrors. So here, you should choose whichever CRAN mirror is closest to you geographically. So let's say we are in UBC right now. So that would mean SFU Burnaby would be the closest to us geographically. So then we would click on that link. And then now, depending on whichever system you use, you should click on that appropriate link. So I'm using a Mac right now, so I'm going to click on download R for Mac OS. And then now I should be reading all of these descriptions to see which one matches um, with my system the most. In that case, or in my case, it would be this very first package here because this is for High Sierra and higher. And I'm running on Catalina, so I fall into this category. So I would click on that and then once this is um, downloaded, I can just follow whatever instructions that's in the package. I click on that. There you go. So I can just follow whatever instructions it tells me to do. All right. So that was installing R. The next step is going to install is going to be installing RStudio. 
And it's important that you download it and installed R first before you do the steps. Um, so before you download R Studio. So again, you can click on this link. And then this is what you should see. Now, let's click on download free. And then again, here are the different versions of RStudio. You can choose whichever one that's appropriate for you. So again, in my case, I'm running on a Mac, so I would download it using this. And then once this is finished, downloaded, I can just follow whatever instructions it tells me to. If you're having any trouble with installing or downloading R and R Studio, then feel free to reach out to us. All right. So now we're gonna go in a bit into some R Studio basics. So a few features and um, how it looks. Once you've opened R Studio, this is what it looks like. There should be four separate windows. So this one is your script. This is where you write all of your codes and here are where your codes will be saved. So everything that you write in this particular window will be saved. And this is your console. So whatever you write here will not be saved. The console is a great place for you to test your code to see if it works. And then once your code works, you can copy and paste it into the script where it will be saved. This is your workspace. So here is where all of your variables and all of your functions are, um, and all of your files as well. Any files that you imported into RStudio will be saved. We'll go into the workspace a bit later in the later tutorials as well. And this is where all of the magic happens. So in files, you should see all of the files that are in uh, whatever folder or whatever directory you're in. If you click on plots, it will show you whatever plot that you plotted in the script or the console. Packages will give you a list of all the R packages that are available to you. Help is where you can find help. So where you can find more information about packages or about functions. And here um, is also a short blurb about all the different things um, that you can find and see in use in each of these four windows. And then here are questions 3 to 11 of the quiz. So feel free to pause this video now and complete all the quiz questions before moving on. So that was our very first tutorial, tutorial 0, R and R Studio setup. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to set up R and R Studio successfully. And again, please feel free to reach out if you have any issues with the setup processes. Before we proceed to the next tutorial, make sure that you're familiar with R Studio's basic features as well. So you're free to explore R Studio on your own, but the later tutorials will also show you more basic things you can do with R on R Studio. Good luck.